we're going to understand allocative efficiency. So what is allocative efficiency? Allocative efficiency is when the markets are working in the most economically efficient manner and there are no externalities, no overproduction or underproduction of economic goods and services. So we can present this diagrammatically. We've got our supply curve. Let me make that red. And label that as S1, SMP. And there we've got the command curve. demand curve D which is also equal to average revenue and the price where demand curve intersects the supply curve is Q1 and P1 and at this point, price equals marginal cost. Allocatively. So markets are allocatively efficient where price is equal to MC and there is no externalities there's no overproduction or under underproduction of economic goods mm -hmm. which that means there is no over or under consumption however in the real world that's very difficult to achieve because if this was a monopoly i'm going to now introduce monopoly in this and monopoly are profit maximizing firms and the new curve is the marginal revenue curve As a revenue curve, monopoly would produce where MR equals MC at output Q2. Increase the price to P2 to make super normal profits sequential yeah so let me explain what we've just done markets are allocatively efficient where P equals MC. Mm -hmm. Okay, so price of uh, the what the customers are willing to pay is equal to the cost of the firms manufacturing that good, which yeah. is MC, cost of manufacturing one additional unit. Now, when I introduce monopoly in this market, whatever commodity it may be, it will reduce. Quantity of goods produced from Q1 to Q2. 
computer so as to charge a higher price at P2 and make SNB super normal profits. Let me put this down as a key again. marginal cost MR equals MR equals average revenue The externality created by underproducing goods at Q2 is the people of this Q1, Q2 been priced out of the market and made poor slash relatively poor and resources are now diverted to people who are rich and ultimately well off also the firms that get S and P pay out high dividends to its shareholders and high wages to its board members and that is why monopolies at times are not desirable it's not desirable in the market yeah um, I understand but why would they reduce the quantity because um because when, when they move the quantity when there's less you can charge sub, more you can charge more supply curve is moving to the left isn't it yeah so i can literally move this supply curve from here and say at this point this is where monopoly is and i can label this as as to monopoly curve Monopoly supply curve. Are we happy with this? Mm -hmm. 